in the church where I grew up, uh, over in beautiful downtown Hindman, Kentucky, uh, there, uh, there were not a surplus of people to play the piano and the organ for church and that kind of thing. So when you went to church, you didn't know if you were going to be playing the piano, the organ, whether you're going to be singing in the choir, doing a solo, you just didn't know. And it wasn't for lack of planning. It's just that, you know, you'd walk in the front door and the minister might say, sing for us today. Or why don't you play the organ and you play, he would just sort of orchestrate the service when we got there. So you learn to pick up things very, very quickly, play them sometimes not as well as you would like to, and you had to play for whoever showed up to sing. And so it was kind of a, an unusual uh, upbringing, but one I think that prepared me well for this church. Because <laughs> I find myself doing that a whole lot here. Uh, but it, it was fun. It was fun. And as a part of my growing up, I played for a lot of different people to sing. I mean, I, play, I played for trained voices. I train, played for people who weren't trained and had to play in a whole lot of different styles. And it always seemed that when people would come to the church, they'd say, oh, we're going to sing Unclouded Day. Well, I learned Unclouded Day in about 25 or 30 different versions. <laughs> and so I put together a little piano thing called Theme and Variations on Unclouded Day. Now I'm going to play that for you.